Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System. Welcome back to our YouTube channel for this week's show, where we talk about the Copa Libertadores, which is going to take place on Saturday, January 30th, which is the biggest club football competition final in South America. And it's going to be an exciting one as we see Palmeiras and Santos play, uh, two teams from Brazil that have a long history against each other. And this year they are going to play in the final. Now, of course, you can always go to zcodesystem.com backslash blog to read up on everything we post there, whether it be for football, soccer, uh, the NFL, which the Super Bowl is coming up very soon, the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, whatever it is, whichever sport that you like to wager on, you can always go over there and get the latest picks that we post there. And of course, use the VIP tools that Z Code System offers to get extra help and to get great picks on everything that is going on in the world of sports right now. So welcome back to the show, and we're happy to have you here. So if you like what you see, please give us a like and subscribe so you can stay tuned with us every time we post here on the YouTube channel. Now, as I said today, we are talking about the Copa Libertadores. We're taking a little bit of a break. We usually cover a lot of the Premier League going on over in England, uh, but today we are going to take a look at the Copa Libertadores because this is a huge game. This is a big match that will take place on Saturday, January 30th. And of course, I'll give you our, our pick uh, today here on the video and we'll look at the soccer buddy tool app as we usually do with uh, games from England uh, but the Copa Libertadores is the equivalent in South America of what we would see in Europe with the Champions League uh, so if you're not familiar with this just think of this as South America's Champions League where the best teams in on the continent they get together for a yearly tournament so uh, the teams who have won their domestic leagues as well as the teams who have finished high up in the standings, they get together for this tournament each and every year. And it is a huge honor for clubs to win this tournament and to uh, to lift the pretty fantastic looking trophy that is the Copa Libertadores. And we've seen a lot of great players uh, in South America go on to Europe and have good careers uh, after winning this trophy. Uh, for example, Neymar, who currently plays for PSG, uh, he won this back in 2011 with Santos. So. Uh, a big, big game coming up this weekend. Now, this tournament started in 1960 and uh, has carried on ever since uh, with teams getting together to play this every single year. And it runs from January to January. So it is a, a tournament, unlike the Champions League, that runs uh, based really on the calendar year. Now, we've seen um, Santos in the finals before. 2011 was the last time that they picked up the trophy. They have won this tournament three times in their histories. Uh, in their history, and they have appeared in four finals, being runners-up once. Uh, with their opponents this weekend, Palmeiras, uh, Palmeiras have only won this trophy one time, but they have appeared in four finals, um, and that one win came in 1999, and the last time that they've been in the tournament final was in 2000. So it's been a while since both of these two teams have been in the Copa final, so uh, both will be hungry to get um to get their hands on the trophy. Now, the tournament was postponed. So, of course, this is the 2020 final. Uh, and, of course, as you know right now, it's January 2021. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, things were uh, postponed uh, in the spring and in the early summer. So things uh, were just kicked back off recently uh, with the semifinals and the quarterfinals uh, to reach this point. Uh, now, let's take a look at the Soccer Buddy app and take uh, a, a little bit more in depth look at what we think the picks are and the score is going to be for this game when they kick off on Saturday. Okay, so of course, if you are familiar with our videos here on the YouTube channel, the Z Code System channel, you will know how the Soccer Buddy tool works. Uh, if you don't, well, here's a little look. So uh, you can go to the uh, zcodesystem.com backslash soccer buddy. And this is one of the great tools that we have there. And uh, this is what it basically looks like. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to filter these to the 30th of January, which is tomorrow. As I come to you, our blog went up yesterday and our video is coming to you today. And then I'm just going to go to all leagues. Okay, so here is this. It's going to be under South America, Copa Libertadores. So we just want to click on that for tomorrow's game. We're also going to click on hot trends, see if there's any hot trends going on in this. Exactly, we do have a hot trend. So we are 5-6 to six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Palmeiras in their last six games. So if you're thinking about going for a um, an over-under of 1.5, then it looks like we are 5-6, to six, or 5 out of 6, 
predicting this total over the last six games for Palmeiras. Now, Palmeiras going to this game, not playing too well right now. They are winless in their last three games in the Brazilian league. Uh, uh, they've drawn one and lost two during that time. If we look at Santos, Santos have lost three straight games in the Brazilian Serie A, um, and they are going into this game on the back of that three-game losing streak. So neither team is in form in terms of their league or their domestic league. But the thing is, both clubs, they're out of the running for the title there in the Brazilian Serie A. So what they have done is they've put all their eggs into one basket to go into this and to try to win the tournament, the Copa de Libertadores final. Now, this season in the semifinals, what we saw was both of these teams getting through in very different fashions uh, and very different styles. We saw uh, Santos have a much easier time uh, for the most part than what we saw for for what we saw for uh, Palmeiras. Now, in the quarterfinals, uh, in the quarterfinals, Santos they blasted Grimio of Brazil five two over the course of two legs. That first, uh, that first leg, that first game. That first game ended 1-1 before Santos won 4-1 in the second leg. Now, going on to the semifinals, uh, Santos then defeated Boca Juniors and uh, they blasted them uh, in that final or in that semifinal, uh, winning that 3-0 on aggregate. Again, the first leg finishing uh, in a draw, 0-0 before before Santos went on to win 3-0 in the second leg. Uh, Palmeiras they had a little bit of a different uh, route to the final and uh, they defeated. Libertad of Paraguay uh, in the quarterfinals. Again, a draw in the first leg, 1-1, uh, before winning 3-0 in the second leg, and that was the quarterfinal. Uh, and then they defeated a very difficult River Plate from Argentina in the semifinals, 3-2. And Palmeiras did take a 3-0 win in that first leg and nearly lost the second leg, 2-0, or they did lose the second leg, excuse me, 2-0, uh, and nearly lost the tie, but were able to hang on 3-2. Now, these two teams have played three times this season already because they are Brazilian based and they play in the Brazilian Serie A. So they've already played uh, three times. Brazil's season uh, is a bit wonky. They do a league season with all the top flight teams, but then they do a um, regional tournament. If you're not familiar with Brazilian soccer, uh, they do a regional tournament in which teams from each state play each other in a, uh, in a cup tournament. And so these teams uh, played in both uh, the state tournament and they also played in the brazilian Serie A three times this year in total uh, and santos uh, was unable to beat palmeiras in any of those three games palmeiras picking up two draws and a win uh, in those games so this is a, uh, a game with two very evenly matched teams that are going to be going at it uh, in the standings in Serie A, we've seen uh, palmeiras finish uh, or are currently a little bit higher than santos santos's defense is a very big question mark i've given up 45 goals this season to teams and uh, while Palmeiras has only given up 31, and that's in the Brazilian Serie A. So that's something to look out for. And I think Santos's defense is going to give up some goals in this game, despite this game being quite evenly matched. Now, Palmeiras are unbeaten in um, 11 of their last games uh, against Santos. So going into this game, um, they have a great record against Santos. And I really like that scoreline of 2-1 to one to Palmeiras in this game and them to lift the Copa de Libertadores. Copa de Libertadores uh, trophy. That's a very difficult word if you're not a Spanish speaker. Um, Palmeiras are, in my opinion, the better team in this one. Santos are pretty hot in the tournament, not hot on the domestic front and in mid-table in Brazil in the Serie A. Uh, and I think Palmeiras are going to come out and win this game. Both these teams, like I said, have put all their eggs into this basket to win this tournament right now. And I really think Palmeiras are going to lift the trophy and to uh, go on uh, and be the final winners. Uh, I'll be watching this game tomorrow night. It's going to be on the BBC here uh, on uh, on their internet app. So we'll be watching that and uh, looking forward to this. Uh, maybe put a little bit of a wager on this game. And I'll be back in Palmeiras if I do. So, guys, uh, I hope you got some more information on the upcoming Copa Libertadores final and the game going on tomorrow night, January the 30th, that's Saturday night down in Rio de Janeiro at the Americana. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, you can always check out Zcode's system. Our details are in the description below. And if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we do at Zcode's system every single week. 
no matter what sport you cover. And of course, go over to the blog, zcodesystem.com backslash blog to check out everything that we post there um, because we don't just post stuff about sports and the picks. We post some other things there to get interested in uh, as well as investing money, as well as um, investing in cryptocurrency, different things that are posted there. You're going to get great information on the way that you want to grow your bankroll. So guys, we'll see you next time here on the Zcode System channel and uh, hope you have a great weekend of betting on sports.